financial literacy is at an all-time low. What a perfect time to introduce the 40-year mortgage. While everybody was doing upside-down gymnastics, squealing about inconsequential things that really don't matter, the FHA approved the 40-year mortgage. Look, I'm all for highlighting things that are culturally significant, but we gotta focus up. And this goes for me as well, because we are tripping over dollars to pick up pennies, culturally speaking. Anyways, it's 2023, and of course, math is not mathing, and math is reason. But let's take a quick look at what a 40-year loan actually means. A $225,000 loan on a house, <laughs> there's none of those anymore, at <laughs> 4% interest, also none of those left. On a 30-year loan, the payment is $1,074 a month, literally zero people on earth are paying that, but okay. Total interest over the loan, 161 k on 250 But with a 40-year loan, you save 130 bucks a month, but it costs another $65,000. But here's the kicker, Batman. Most people don't stay in a house for 40 years, or even 30. So what happens is, they stay in the house for five years, maybe 10 years. And if you know about how an amortization schedule works, those are the highest interest years. This is a very basic amortization schedule. If you look up here in this corner, you see the interest in the first year is 7.6%, and it goes down over the course of the term of the loan. You can also see here your monthly payments and then your interest. So in the first five to 10 years is when you're paying the highest amount of interest and the lowest amount of principal, and then it flips on the later half of that 30 years, which most people don't even make it to because they sell the house, upgrade, move, whatever. So if you look at this chart, just as an example, you see your monthly payment, the 2147, that's your mortgage payment, there's the interest you can see it's going down. This is basically like as if it was years. Each year, your interest payment is going down, or each month, as your principal as your principal reduces and your balance reduces. So you're paying the highest amount of interest in the first few years. So if you get a 40-year mortgage, that means that you're paying an even higher percent of interest in those first five to 10 years, which is how long you're staying in there anyway. Meanwhile, your payment is a little bit lower, right? Because it helps people get in a home. At least that's how they sell you it. But if you extend the life of the loan out an additional 10 years to so drop that monthly payment by $20, $30, $50, $100, whatever, what you're also doing is extending out that duration, so meaning you're paying longer of that super high interest in that amortization schedule. So instead of people understanding how an amortization schedule works, they're just like, this is a good thing, it's helping people get in home. When nobody is even asking the important question, which is why of all times in human history do we need a 40 year mortgage now? Probably because of Donald Trump. Everybody is financially illiterate and completely clueless. And while everybody is squarely focused on what they think is the perceived attack of the day, we are all being financially bamboozled and robbed. A piece of real estate, the theoretical American dream, is a quintessential part of leveling up your finances. One of many reasons why real estate is so valuable is it is an investment that you can utilize. You purchase the house, it theoretically increases in value, and then you also can live in it. You can rent it, you can obtain leverage against it in your home equity. It's a financial instrument that allows you to raise up in the socioeconomic ladder. It is crucial for pulling people out of poverty in theory. And for most people, it is their principal, primary, and largest investment. It can also be passed down over generations, making it one of the most crucial investments that any person and family generationally can have. Also, it's a hard asset, a hard asset that everyone can use, and it's as important to human life as food, water, oil, etc. So as the paper-thin, backed-by-nothing currency, fiat currency goes up and inflation ebbs and flows, the value of hard assets like real estate will go up with the rate of inflation, almost acting as a hedge. This 40-year mortgage is financial trickery and a gift for the banks. Because while every idiot will save $30 a month on their mortgage and not even understand what they're signing up for, the bank will obtain an even higher rate of interest for even longer. The real estate mortgage kicks back, kicks back into gear, the can gets kicked down the road, and we continue to get bankrupted because what the bureaucracy pretends that they're doing typically has the opposite effect of its intent, or at least its stated intent. In the event that the FHA was not willing to extend these mortgages to 40 years, 
What would happen is the price of housing would go down because so many people would not be able to afford to purchase them. So by using financial trickery and looping them into 40 year mortgages now, all people are looking at is the monthly payment. They're not thinking about the depth of it because they don't understand. These people getting in these 40 year mortgages allows all the real estate agents, all of the bankers, the brokers, the mortgage brokers, all of them are happy because the market continues to stay. In fact, it continues to grow. So these news articles that are painting this in a good light, who are they asking? They're asking real estate agents who directly benefit from people buying more homes. They don't really care that you're in a 40 year mortgage. They just wanna sell the house and rightfully so, that's their business. But this is a gift to the banks and it allows people to kick the can down the road and not pay attention to what is being financially done to them. Because people are so stupid that they think that we can just print money out of thin air and the gravy train will just keep chugging along forever. Because before long, you'll be getting into 50 year mortgages and then what's the limit? I wouldn't be surprised if in the next 10 years, we got people starting to cash in on 75 year mortgages. It's possible. And before long, almost every single thing you buy will be financed. And then just like that, in a blink of an eye, you own nothing, you are nothing, you do nothing, you stay in your pod, in your 15 minute city, and you eat the bugs.